Hello everyone, this is the part 2 of my um, video blog for nested ESX installation. So in the part 1 we have created a virtual machine which is this one. I have powered it on and it is right here. Um, so what we have to do is we have to mount the disk. I'm just going to show you how to mount the disk. Once you open the VMRC which is VMware Remote Console you can mount the disk locally from your drive so I have it locally on my C drive in temp folder so if I click local disk I go 10 ESX 6.7 there you go once it's mounted we need to select it from there and there you go the installation is now started so this is a quick installation I have already presented all the screenshots on my blog um, if not it will be tonight after I finish this video for the ESX 6.7 installation if um, this is the latest version of um, 6.7 update 2 uh, which has been released on 2nd of April 2019 um, as you can see because it's too local to uh, the network the installation files gets loaded very quickly um, again ESX server is is less than 400 MB so it's a quick installation um, the, the thing which we need to remember is um, because we are doing nested we need to be very mindful of obviously how much resources we are using at any point um, or you can easily um, hit a bottleneck on your memory or CPU so for this purpose this virtual machine is only having 4 GB memory uh, and it's running on this ESX source which is a 6 GB uh, machine 6 GB memory so as you can see it's loading up now and it's 4 GB in total and it has 4 vCPUs so once the installation files are loaded as you can see the loading bar is down here once this is fully loaded we will be able to configure some parameters and set the root password um, for our installation so hopefully in this 10 minutes I can go through the entire setup and hopefully if the time permits I can show you how to connect it to the vCenter as well I've already got the vCenter running here which is on the IP address 10.168.1.100 okay so let's crack on so first thing it's giving you a welcome screen press enter now I find it tricky sometimes because the function keys are always taken by you know sometimes the volume up down or the resolution so on my keyboard F11 is the um, brightness so I need to press the F function key and then press F11 if that makes sense to you because I have function key for for pressing F11 so once you click that you, as you can see I can I'm on the next screen now which shows the disk 10 gig I just selected it press enter on this it's asking you the keyboard layout my I live in United Kingdom so my keyboard layout would be United Kingdom press enter again and here is where you set up a root password and make sure you remember it because there's no way we can retrieve it unless we reinstall the ESX host I think I gave it wrong on the top as well so let me restart it okay and let's try again here we um, really oh now this is becoming <coughs> read that and reset it again Um, 
Okay, password matches. As you can see, click enter and then press F11 again for the installation. So this installation should go through very quickly. Um, and then once the installation is completed successfully, I'll show you how to add the ESX host to the vCenter. So it's already 27%. Are you done? Something tells me I might have selected a SSD as opposed to just hard disk drive. The way this is going very quickly, um, but that's fine. Okay, so nearly there. Once this is done, this is the last scre uh, screenshot here. Just need to reboot it, press enter to reboot and that's it. Once this reboots, it will come up with a dynamic IP address. Um, because I have DSCP enabled on my network, local network, it should come up with the IP address which we can use to connect it. As you can see, to give you an idea how to pull this. To add to the vCenter, what we need to do, this is going to be fully loaded in a couple of seconds. nearly there so once this is fully loaded see i have got a ip address 192.168.1.207 i would suggest to change this but for the purpose of adding um keeping my video short i will add this to the vcenter with the dscp and then obviously remove it later and then reconfigure it properly later on so to edit the settings you can easily go F2 you need to press F2 and then the password which I was not able to set <laughs> you need to give the password and then within the console you will find configure management network in here you can make the IP address static so we can just select this and make it static just to be safe so that it doesn't get reassigned to anything else because I'm just going to add this to the vCenter um, so the IP address was 192.168.1.207 next the password yes next and this is going to ask the licensing agreement we'll leave it on normal and then whether you want to enable it locked on more we will not do that and then this is nearly done so this is how you install esxi and add the esx host to the vcenter as you can see this is coming up online here it says disconnected at this moment because it's still configuring once it's configured, as you can see, the host is available here. Click on summary. And you can see the settings for the host, which is 4 GB memory and 10 gig disk. You can still use this and install maybe 1 gig. Um, give Install Linux with 2 GB memory and 1 GB hard drive or something like that. Um, so that's all, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.